Nothing much, man. Uh, finna hit the barbers. Um, well, basically we're gonna do we're gonna do it like we did uh May first. Dougie gonna be there. He gonna play the track, and then we're just gonna play over. Right. And what time? What time you want want to be there? Uh, I'm gonna be there at nine. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's right by Navy Pier. But yeah, there's a lot that you could park in right under uh, Lakeshore Drive. Peace. Going to a barber, I believe that uh, young men and women grow up in barber shops and beauty salons. What up, sir? Appreciate this man, a little scruffy. The homie White uh, on 17th and Madison, he used to be in a shop called Dynasty that was right on Madison, um, right next door to actually where his shop is now. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the usual, I'm gonna get a line, but uh, go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, blend that. You kind of judge a book by its cover. He used to always keep himself, you know, clean. And so I was like, well, I'm probably going to have the clean guy cut my hair. Most people I know are very serious about their appearance and their hair. They're not, you know, anal about it, but they're serious about it. And you take pride in it. So it's like anybody that you trust to do that, you kind of value their opinion on that. And in a sense, in life, if they have anything great to say. You know, I listen to that. I, man, I don't know. I just think that I'm just a hard nigga to impress. <laughs> there's nothing, like that verse was just overly aggressive. It's almost like in hip hop, there's room for all of that. But in the music business, it's like no room for just verses. So when Kendrick brings that raw element to it, you know what I'm saying? Like Cats is like, ah, this is refreshing. We've been waiting for this to happen. While you're there, the experience of a haircut, it's, it's a great interaction that's priceless. It's a pastime of getting your hair cut and having a conversation about current events, about what's new in hip hop, what's new in politics, what's new in the community, what's new in your life, what's new in your relationship. When I first became privy to that information, mm -hmm. I used to be super aggressive with it, G. They say the mind can't differentiate what's real and what isn't real. All these other artists, athletes, everybody come here secretly not knowing mm -hmm. and just take our shit and make it cool. Cause I'm still a fan. But at the same time, I'm not gonna front like I'm not one. Your barber is almost like your, your brother slash cool uncle slash whatever the case may be. The program that I, that I mentor with is the PLCCA. Uh, music and technology program and so I aid with the cinematography aspect and with the uh, music aspect. Yeah boy. What's up, man? You know we had a student in there, Ralphie, he um he, he started his own thing, Ralphie Beats and he makes beats and he he's grown a lot since I'm since I met him. So every now and then when we're at work, we'll have these conversations about hip hop, like who's the hottest. And you know, usually the youth, the high schoolers, they listen to mainstream media. And so they're like, oh, this person's the hottest and that person. And we're like, no, definitely not. <laughs> Me and, and Anwar and Slade, we're always like, dude, like this isn't hip hop. When I'm from Chicago, house lights, bravo. Like, I'm gonna start over so you can see me. This, rapgenius.com is one of the best sites ever. Came up from the bottom of the eye exam zoom, now I'm like the biggest G up in the room. 
So he was saying, if it were an eye exam chart, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm from the bottom of the eye exam, and I'm like the biggest G up in the room. I was showing him some golden age Lupe, if you will. And I'm breaking down like lyrics to him, but I'm stopping him in the middle because I know they're not catching everything that he's saying. I'm playing the word C. Lupe is now on letter C on the I exam while others are under the C, meaning they're not on his level and can't be seen, but also under the C is seaweed. I feel like every city should have a community service place where youth can come to and express themselves or just stay out of trouble. <laughs> For the part right here, see H.I. style for the stop right here. I call it, filling up the pocket. Hot in the never gonna stop it. Don't knock it, just rock to us. Uh, get popular, prop to us. Kick back and get your binoculars and sip something and just keep watching us. Well, me and Sean, man, we, we go back since like 2009. I met him at a uh, hip hop showcase at the Wild Hair. I remember I was saying that I needed a place to record, and he was like, I got a place in my, you know, I record at my house. And so I linked up with him, and the rest is history. I uh, always tell anybody that's looking to record, I say find somebody that you can work with consistently so you can figure out what your sound is. As the years have grown, I've become a better recording artist. He's become a better engineer uh, to the point where like I could be anywhere else and record some, some flat vocals and send them to him and he can EQ them exactly how I want it. Why she still yawning? We up dancing, we go skating. She feels so good, whatever. She be adjacent. Hey, what's cracking, bro? Man, not much, not much, man. We uh, you ready for the night? Yeah. All right, man. Well, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna see you there at nine, bro. They uh, I, I talked to the guy and he said the drums are already gonna be there and everything. So yeah, I'll text you the address again. All right, for sure. Well, I first had some uh, Real Talk stickers uh, when I used to visit Illinois State University. Um, I got some stickers printed up with my logo on them and I uh, realized after a while the stickers started wearing off. They could be peeled off, things like that. And I noticed a lot of people would wear buttons. The first batch I ever got made was just regular black and white buttons, but then I saw they had glow-in-the-dark ones. So I put myself in the shoes of the consumer saying like, okay, well if I had a choice between a black and white button or a button that glows in the dark, it's like great. Oh, uh, it's my logo. I'm a rapper. And, uh, oh, nice. So also a like, teacher. I'm a rapper. Do you, do you and, uh, have anything you want to rap right now? Yeah, I can. Uh, <laughs> um, I got that autobiographical flow that's biohazard. It's the artifice happen to tracks when I be rapping. It's the illerime activist, ravenous rap catalyst, and the fact of the matter is I am just practicing. I got the rights and I open the mic for cowards, trying to get gas like they siphoned the pipe for hours. The power of rhyme over firepower. Forget on 10, I'm on 290 just like I'm riding the Eisenhower. I devour. Oh, listen. Oh, something, something. Thank you, baby. For my next trip, no, I'm joking. If you go somewhere consistently, work with that particular person because then they have no choice but to lightweight build a relationship with you, so they kind of look out for you. When I first ordered my buttons here, I got my buttons like maybe like a week later, and I ordered these buttons a day ago. That's what happens when you build relationships with people you work with. I had to go home, switch cars, and pick up my mother from, uh, from the L, from the Blue Line, instead of her driving and getting caught in traffic to and from work, which is a huge headache in Chicago. Uh, I pick her up from the Blue Line. For those quick 15 minutes, it's, uh, those are things that I cherish. And a lot of people my age in their late 20s don't get a chance to sit down and talk with their parents every day face to face besides on the phone or text message. And this is actual a great time for her to wind down, tell me how her day was. And then I can tell her about, you know, what I'm working on or what I did today. You know? And I always, uh, I pre-autograph them. People, a lot of people want their CDs saying. Make sure I autograph them and then I'll add their name. That way I make it personal. We 
finally get down by Navy Pier, and I'm not in tune with the daily schedule of what goes on, but I know they have fireworks like all the time during the summer. Just so happens tonight was like one of the most packed nights. There's people everywhere, and they're leaving from the pier from seeing the fireworks. So of course, I can't find a parking spot anywhere. So, And of course, since I can't find a parking spot, a lot of my people that I invited can't find a parking spot. And so I'm outside making sure I give people directions. And, and All right, what you want to do is get on Michigan and take it to Wacker. You say just pass state, Streeter, like S-T-R-E-E-T-E-R. -E -E or not above, but like uh, north of Wacker. All right, do this, do this, get, yeah, get on Michigan. A freestyle can break out at any time in Chicago. I'm one of those rap, rapping ass people that's like thirsty for Cyphers, I'm like, is this a cypher here? Oh, okay. I just see people in the circle like, what y'all doing? Oh, y'all smoking, my bad. Okay, I don't smoke. Cut it in half, switching flows on the stage, killing shows, rhythm, villain, chilling, under ceiling, fans, pinning pros, having fun with the verse, get this work while the speakers jerk. This is bar number 12, and I ain't even cursed, even cut. <laughs> it just so happens there was some tourists walking by, and then we had them jump in, and it, it was great. We just challenged her. You know, we was just like, you rap too? Oh, Y'all got, got some bars? Y'all got a couple bars? Abby? Y'all got a bar? Abby! Hit us with that Katy Perry! That's right! Why would I put it on? I'm at the Navy Pier! Yeah! 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 Those are things that get added in the stories. It's like, yeah, I went to Chicago and I was from overseas and I went to the Navy Pier and I saw the fireworks and then I just stopped and bust a freestyle. This is the live his brother in Chicago, period. Drunken monkey, yeah you know I mean. This is, you know what I'm saying, this is episode three. Yeah you know I mean, memoirs of modern day Griot. The hosts of Soul Speak uh, are usually Harold Green and Binky. And um, they both two dope brothers. But Harold was out of town this time and um, Drunk and Monkey filled in for him. So the homeboy Drunk, man, he's full of energy and positive. He's like a big, huge ball of energy and positivity, man. He's like the, he's like the Buster Rounds of Chicago, if you will. Everybody say, uh, respect the mic. Respect, respect the mic. mic. Say, respect the mic. Respect the mic. There's a lot of people here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, anybody know this, this person named Real Talk, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Usually when I'm at open mics and people are on stage or at a poetry set, I'm checking them out and watching them because I feel like a part of your experience as an artist isn't just to perform and get off stage. For real time! It's like Chicago or the Midwest, but Chicago in general is like home of the quietest kept giants. And a lot of other Chicagoans can tell you that. You know, you go to open mics in Chicago, it's open micers that could feature in other cities and kill. Shot town, man, we put it down, man. I don't really see no CO in petition. I'm so geo. O D I O D on the beat, so C O L D. That mean frio. That was Spanish, no, not Creole. They say, boy, you the one like Neo. People gon' fill away they wheel, but they'll get eight like a subway trio. But they'll get eight like five and three oh. No, not 30. You know what I mean, though? You ain't catch nothing just like T.O. with no NFL deal. They say, boy, I'm not so real. He'll make you a breakfast meal. He fit like a electric fish that's sick to the head. I checked his heel. Boy, he's fine. After I get off stage, it's usually like my body feels like it's on fire. You know, I'm sweating and I, I just gave a great performance. It was electrifying. I was definitely surprised when the people actually showed up and they came through and supported. Like I was, I was humbled like all over again. I saw folks from SIU that I knew. A lot of the audience represented my life in the span between 2009 and now. Yo, one time for the Lord for giving me the ability to rap and getting me in the presence of proper people popping with a lot of positive energy. I caught a flight to Nashville and the Greyhound to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Jumped on the end of the big boy tour real low key, just like those notes that a tenor see when he finna see. Still bringing the pain whenever the DJ dropping the beat, going to the top nine stop, not watching the clock, clock in the stop, watching him in the heat. Gonna be reaching the so called limit and he's still a beat. And Increasing the speed, no mercy in the streets. Gotta work hard than a mug, warm dinner, and they finna feast. But I've been a beast, no love for the mimicry or absurd. Copycats that wanna be Eminem backwards. That's mini me, spell it out. I back here, smack them more than a clap in the same fashion. The Serena Williams would.